2021 Mercedes AMG GT 53 4 door pros and cons, stealth mode activated. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The Mercedes AMG GT 4 door just got an update for 2022 that includes revisions to the front fascia, interior upgrades, and a new manufacturer exclusive special edition that looks pretty darn sharp. But even the pre-facelift 2021 model we recently tested still offers plenty in the way of style, performance, and tech, especially the mid-range GT53 model, which is arguably the best option of the bunch. With a turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-six engine aided by EQ boost, the GT53 four-door has the smoothest powertrain in the entire class. On top of that, the GT53's cabin is properly opulent and the exterior styling is eye-catching, regardless of trim. Our test car's all-black exterior treatment looks particularly sinister. But there are some minor sacrifices you will have to make in pursuit of the GT53's sublime style. The ride can be harsh with the optional 21-inch wheels, the rear seat is tight courtesy of the sloped roof, and once you start ticking all the option boxes, the price adds up. This car costs $126,320 when it's all said and done, and that's not even fully loaded. Buttery smooth powertrain Mercedes does offer a higher output GT63 model with a twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 and 577 horsepower, and based on our experience driving that car, it's as bonkers as you think. But we actually prefer the powertrain of the GT53, despite it being less powerful, the turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-six with EQ boost electrification combines for a total output of 429 horsepower and 384 pound-feet. The mild hybrid system contributes 21 horsepower and 184 pound-feet to smooth out gear changes or reduce turbo lag. Unlike the V8 model though, which can be too brutal at times, the GT53 offers ample performance without the neck-snapping acceleration of its GT63 sibling. It's still quick, don't get us wrong, sink your foot into the accelerator and a strong stream of power propels the four-door to 60 in a speedy 4.4 seconds with power at all four wheels via four Modic all-wheel drive. It even sounds fantastic, too. Gratuitous downshifts result in a firework-like pop from the exhaust. But when you're not hammering it, the hybridized inline-six and the nine-speed automatic are absolute pussycats. You can pedal the GT53 around town comfortably and in near silence, returning up to 21 miles per gallon combined. Stepping inside of the Mercedes-AMG GT53 four-door is like hopping into a high-end spaceship, especially at night with the ambient lighting aglow. The front seats are some of the best sport buckets you'll find anywhere. The combo of saddle brown and black Napa leather, a $3,250 option, is gorgeous, and heating, ventilation, and multi-contour massage functions make sure you're comfortable in any situation. With the $3,550 executive rear seat package equipped, passengers in the second row get a similar set of sport buckets, minus the massage function. Additional features as part of the executive package includes a fixed center console with a small touchscreen, heated and cooled cup holders, wireless phone charging, and three-zone climate control function. A 12.3-inch central touchscreen and a corresponding 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster sit front and center, complete with Mercedes-Benz's lauded MBUX infotainment system. Standard features include things like Apple CarPlay, as well as onboard Wi-Fi and even a rear touchscreen with basic MBUX functions. The GT4 door line as a whole is well designed. From the raked roofline to the aggressive front fascia, it's hard to hate. But we'd argue that the 53 we drove is pretty much the perfect spec. Obsidian black over black AMG wheels with a saddle brown interior.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.